Today I want to share with you my recipe for a very simple jilopites with fresh tomatoes. I got tomatoes right out of the garden, don't know what to do with them, and if you're like me, you probably have like 70 or 80 pounds of tomatoes sitting around. This recipe is going to be right up your alley. I'm using about a cup of jilopites, and with this I am also going to be using grated uh, tomato as the sauce base. So first things first, add about a quarter to a third of a cup of Greek extra virgin olive oil to your pot. I'm going to use one onion. Now if you can't do a very very fine chop, no worries at all. Just do the best you can. This is a very very forgiving recipe and it really doesn't matter if you're using like a coarse chop, a fine chop, no problem at all. And there's that sizzle. I absolutely love it. So my onions are in. At this point, a little salt, a little fresh cracked black pepper, a little for me anyway. That's perfect. Now, in terms of the base profile of this, this is optional. A lot of people in Greece typically don't add garlic. I do to my recipes only because I love the way garlic, uh, the taste of garlic. So it is totally up to you. And for recipes like this, I just typically smash my garlic and just throw it in whole. As this thing is going and our onions are uh, doing their thing and cooking down, time for the fresh tomato aspect, which is what really makes this recipe. Now for this, I'm going to be doing a cup of jilopitas, so I'm going to be going around the same amount of crushed or, in this case, uh, grated tomato. I'm going to be doing about a cup or so, cup and a half of grated tomatoes. And again, my trick is to put an X uh, at the bottom of the tomato where you're going to start grating. Very simply because it allows the, the tomato pulp to separate from the, the skin. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. See what I mean? I'm, the pulp is in where I want it and the skin is not. All right, so there go our tomatoes are in, ready to go. Very exciting. Now, I'm gonna give this a quick little stir here, get that going and throw in my jilopitas. I'm doing this by eye, but typically you're looking at one cup of jilopitas and four cups of liquid or water which will give you a fairly thick consistency. If you want a little thinner consistency or more of a soupy uh, type of, uh, of uh, dish, then you can by all means you go up to five or even six cups of water. So our jilopitas are basically in, everybody's in the pool, everybody's happy. I'm gonna simmer this now for about 15, 20, 25 minutes, depending on my consistency that I want and the doneness of the jilopitas. Typically Greeks, like most things when it comes to pasta, we like ours like obliterated when it comes to cooking. So just keep that in mind. All right, my hilopedes are done. Hilopedes. So my non-Greek friends say, are you I'm not making any hilopedes? So they're absolutely <laughs> done to perfection. They're beautiful. So let me grab a bowl here and this ladle, oh goodness. I just want to try some just to, you know, for you guys. And along with this, I'm gonna take a little bit of mizithra, because you can't do pasta, or you can't do any Greek pasta dish without mizithra, come on. You can put as much or as little as you like. Yeah, you know, that's fine. Perfect. Now, look at this bowl of comfort right here. Ooh. Mm. Oh my, mm. that is the absolute, mm. this is like come give me a hug baby on a cold day. So comforting, very light though, the grated tomato makes it absolutely light. Um, it just hits all the notes, great family recipe as well, cook with your kids, keep them occupied, keep them off the PlayStation, you know what I mean? 
So that's it, my friends, for this episode on my one pot hilopit. Oh, and it is one pot, by the way. My hilopites with fresh tomato. That grated tomato makes all the difference. Ready again, another less than half an hour of a meal. And with a cup of hilopites, you can probably feed three or four normal people or a couple of Greeks. I thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button if you like this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Check out this recipe as well online at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves and each other, and keep cooking. Much love. Bye for now.